Hey guys, hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Akusia Behini. If you're new, you're welcome, okay? If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a tiny subscriber, hey boo, hey boo, hey boo, hey, hey boo. <laughs> hey boo, what it do? Um, I love you. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a foundation routine for combination to oily skin as well as dehydrated skin okay because that's my skin concern that's what I've been dealing with as of late um, so I'm gonna be sharing with you my foundation routine or like a foundation routine for beginners a beginner friendly one um, very easy you know simple and also something that can help you achieve this look okay it's all about the base it's all about the base so i'm going to be sharing with you how to do that and the products that i use to achieve this look so please if you're interested keep on watching the video um also if you're not already subscribed to the channel Say my name. So my skin has been moisturized, prepped, I did my skincare, um, sunscreen, all of that stuff. But before I get into the look or before I get into the makeup, I'm going to go ahead and spray some of this EVN facial spray on my face. This is what it looks like. This is actually a travel size. Um, this was sent in by PR, very grateful. They sent in a travel size as well as the bigger size. And I love this stuff, okay? <laughs> I've begun to love, like I've come to love it so much. It's just water. Just natural mineral water for your face so it's for hydration and my skin is dehydrated i have my skin concern is dehydrated so i'm currently working towards that you know working my way around that um so this is what i use i'm going to use this sort of revive um everything that i've used i'm going to use it to revive the moisturizer and everything that i've used on my face Ugh. It's just water water <clears throat> so now that that is absorbed I went ahead and brought you guys closer so that you see detail okay um, so now that that is absorbed I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my primer for primer we'll be using the rare beauty this is a rare beauty pore diffusing primer love this stuff really nice stuff and because it's a pore primer I'm gonna put it in areas where I have pores I say this every time um, but whatever a primer says that it's used for, be sure to use it for that because that's the only thing that it will do. <laughs> Trust me. I think my voice is a lot more huskier today. I don't know why. But yeah, I'm just putting this in my T-zone area um, because that's the areas that I find that get oily easy. Easier. Or that's the areas that um, I have the most pores going on. You probably know that by now. <laughs> And one way that I apply my primer that um, I see that works is I apply like a moisturizer basically and then I go ahead and then tap it in. So the tapping in part is where your skin actually gets to absorb the product well. I find that it really works for the pores like so that's what the primer looks like so it doesn't make you dry. Um, but it definitely works on your pores. I'm going to leave this for a little bit, you know, just so that it takes... Like, I'm going to give it time. Give it small time. Just so that it looks like what it's supposed to look like. Or just so that it does the job. And then we're going in with the second product, the next product. So this is a pore diffusing primer that is not matte. So we have pore diffusing primers that will give you a matte look. And then a pore diffusing primer that is hydrating. This one that I use is hydrating. It diffuses your pore, but it doesn't make you dry. So that's kind of the look that I'm going for right now. Plus, it's summer, okay? Ain't nobody trying to look dry. Nobody wants to do that. <laughs> so, see how it looks like now? After I give it a couple of seconds, just a couple of seconds, see how it looks like? Before, it looked a little more glowy because it had to take time for the skin to absorb. And I feel like the tapping in definitely does a different number to it. Um, next thing that I'm going to do is concealer. If you been watching my makeup videos for a while you will know that I love underpainting I find that it works a lot 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 better for me I find that it makes my makeup looks way more flawless so that's what I do products that I'm using is L'Oreal this is the L'Oreal infallible um, concealer in the shade 415 honey I love me a good bright under eye if you know you know 
So that's what I'm going to use. And this stuff dries kind of fast, so um, I'll work my way in process, in steps. So I'll start from my under eye. I like to start from here. And to be honest with my under eye, I always do the, like using my under eye concealer to contour my nose. That's, that's what I've been doing for such a long time. So that's what I do. I'm not going to leave this on at all because like I said, it kind of dries fast. So I'm going to go ahead and just blend it right away with my beauty blender. This is a dumb beauty blender. Love that. Ooh, today we bright bright. Oh, we like that. <laughs> I haven't been this bright in a while. I've been doing a lot more natural makeup lately. And then when I get to like the edges, I'm going to use a part of the beauty blender that doesn't have so much product or literally no product. And then I use that to just press it out. Just so that I don't have any white lines, you know, any unblended situation. Plus this stuff is matte, dries kind of fast, you know. So you want to make sure that you're doing proper blending before it dries down because once it's dried, it's dried. But that's why you want to use a damp beauty blender as well because that's the only thing um, that works pretty well with products like this. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is contour. Um, I'm using the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 1. Slightly contour. I honestly, I'm not a fan of too much contour. Never really been. <laughs> I'm using a brush. This is um, the e.l.f. Buffing Foundation Brush. I love this stuff for my contour. It works really good. So I'm just going to use that. And then I'm going to warm the product off. <laughs> On the back of my hand, I'm just going to, you know, because this stuff is very pigmented. And I don't want to look like that. And I'm just going to go in my contour areas. So for my cheek area, I like to sort of blend it in. And then when I get to my hairline area, I blend it out into like my hairline. So for this area, I like to sort of blend it in. And then you guys will see what I do. I go back in with the concealer beauty blender. And then I just go over my under eye to sort of like merge both products together. Or you know, to give it like a nice gradient here. So it doesn't sort of like it transitions basically. So these two products, the concealer and this contour product, they are nice blend together. Matter of fact, Juvia's Place actually has like nice concealers, nice products in general. I love their product. And we try to hide the double chin. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up my nose. I'm not taking any more contour products because the stuff, like I said, is very pigmented. Like that. Then I'm going to take the Beauty Blender again and then just clean up my nose contour. Okay. That's looking good. Okay, and then now we're going to go in with our foundation. For foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Super Stay foundation. You guys already know. This is my summer staple or summer favorite. And then I'm in the shade 375 for summer and then 370 for winter. I'm using about two pumps of this. Usually you use, say, one pump or one and a half if you do under painting. Um, but I like to get a nice cover up. So yeah, and then a brush that I'm using is a new brush that I'm trying today Got this from studio selections um, From a beauty supply in my neighborhood But yeah, hopefully it's nice Because it's nice and soft so Hopefully it's giving what it's supposed to give Oh, this brush is nice Okay Okay See just one side of my face? 
This brush is nice. We like that. Okay. 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 And I don't do I don't do like too much foundation on my forehead right now. Very, very little amount of foundation. This is what it looks like. Ooh. Look at this. Look. Look at this. I love it. I love it. And I love the brush. I love what this brush did. Oh, wow. It's actually very pretty. So this is what we have. And I still have a lot of the foundation. See? That's why I love underpainting. You don't have to do too much because you've already done the job. So that's what we have. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with a powder. Maybelline Fit Me um, Loose Finishing Powder. You guys already know. This powder is so beautiful. It gives you a really nice finish. And I have oily brows, so I always go over my brows with some powder. And then I'm going to use what's left on the brush to just slightly sweep my cheekbone area. I mean, like my... my what's that? You guys know what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows. I do have a brow tutorial, so it will be linked in the description box below. But I'm going to quickly fill in my brows, and then I'll be back, okay? Okay, guys. So I went ahead and finished off my entire eye area. I do have... Um, I recorded a video of how I did the eye. So I'll put it up very soon. You guys will see that. So let's finish off the rest of the face because it's more of base foundation, you know. I don't want to include the eye just so that the video is extended, <laughs> okay. So now the next thing that I'm going to do for my face is some blush, okay. So blush from Nika K Duo Orange Blush. Love that. This one right here. Oh, The blush and the eyeshadow just ties in really nicely love that i also like to use my blush along the perimeters of my face just to give me some more warmth so as of late i tried this i think i tried this in my previous video if you remember comment down below but i tried this in my comment my previous video and i loved it the kind of glow it was giving me you know i usually just put this in my inner corner because i feel like it's a little too glowy you know but it's actually very pretty so i'm gonna use that and then the brush that i'm using is evita evita joseph's highlighter brush love that and i always like to bring my highlighter all the way down to my cheeks because I see, I feel like when I smile, it looks bright and shiny. <laughs> okay, guys. So the next thing that I'm going to do is set my face. I am going to be doing that with my Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Powder Foundation. Love this stuff. Talked about it in my previous video. Really nice stuff. So I'm just going to use powder brush. Powder brush from Evita Joseph as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Tell me that this powder is not beautiful. Just, just say it. Okay guys, so I went ahead and put on some lashes. Exciting. Um, I'm going to leave a link to them. This is Kiss. The Kiss My Lash But Better. Okay, period. My Lash But Better New Day to Day Lashes. Um, this one is in a shade or in the style so real so i will have it linked in the description box but now it's time to do the lips for a lip liner i'm using the wet and wild coal eyeliner for a lippy i'm gonna go ahead and use this black secret lipstick um lip tack stick that's what they call it, Lip Tastic Lipstick. This is in a shade 701 Nudist Be Beach. I was going to say Nudist Beach. Wow. I just keep this in the center. Okay, guys. So this is what the makeup looks like, or this is what the finished look looks like. 
okay I'm very happy with the results of the skin work that we did my skin is definitely glowing through you guys see the work of the highlighter and it's not even giving like grainy highlighter it's not even it's giving you skin like it's giving you like beneath the skin glow so love 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 everything that we did I'm gonna link or list the product in the description box below so um, if for reference sake you can definitely check that back out also this eye look I will link in the description box below so you can also check that out and then as well I'll leave my eyebrows in the link so you can also check that one out um, but yeah this is this is the finished look guys Comment below, let me know if you like it. Give me a huge thumbs up if you did enjoy the video. Also, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed because, please, I'd love for you to become a member of the family. I'd love for you to um, join us, help us grow, you know, all of the good stuff. So, please subscribe to the channel so you become a member of the family, okay? <laughs> and follow me on Instagram, guys. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. See, that's where all the tea goes on, okay? What tea? no tea but i post a lot of makeup content as well as like everyday stories and stuff you guys will see it there um instagram instagram is like my favorite app okay like my favorite app to just you know like post stuff you know so please follow me on instagram if you don't already also do that and then yeah i'm gonna go in now i'll see you guys in the next video bye